A small but growing community in the high desert of Nevada, Fernley is situated about a half hour east of the Reno Sparks metropolitan area and is within close proximity to a few amazing Nevada outdoor destinations. The beauty of Fernley is its location to a place like Lake Tahoe. It's only an hour's drive to one of the most beautiful spots in the world, I feel. It's 30 minutes to Pyramid Lake, which has great recreational opportunities, wonderful fishing there. Lake Lahontan is right over the hill, 15 minutes away, has great fishing and, and great water ski area. Plus all these places have all the opportunity for you to go take off and take a hike, go horseback riding, there's plenty of trails to follow and stuff, and you can go out there and just have a great time and not bother your soul. As Fernley grew in the 60s and 70s, more services began to come into Fernley, you know, like grocery stores. That allowed things like the bowling center to, to be established, the beautiful 18-hole golf course we have on the east end of town, the BMX track for kids, I mean, they just love it. These things all happened because Fernley started to grow. And of course, also at that time, we had the Fernley Crossroads Commerce Center on the east end of town, northeast of town, started to bring in companies like Walmart and Lowe's for retail, Sherwin-Williams, uh, Trex, Johns Mansfield, uh, countless others, Amazon was here. So as you can see, Fernley is indeed a great place to live, work, and of course play, being an oasis of green in Nevada's arid environment. Easily accessible on the east side of town, the golf club at Fernley is a public 18-hole par 72 golf course, complete with a clubhouse, a driving range, and two practice greens. Plays great. It's one of the, the best winter courses that we have around as well. It's something that you can play year-round. It's not one that you just shut down in the wintertime. You know, some of the Reno courses and, and higher elevated courses aren't playable during the winter, where this one is. A lot of people from Reno actually come down and we actually have a lot of people from the surrounding areas come to play as well. Offering a gentle course, the golf club at Fernley is ideal for novices, as well as for intermediate players looking for a more lenient golfing environment. Yeah, you know, from the red tees, it's a great course to learn on, especially for ladies. Whenever I golf with another woman or they ask me to teach them, um, they want to go out and golf, I love to bring them here because it's a, it's a course where it's a little forgiving when it comes to learning. You know, you're able to find your golf ball. In my opinion, they have some of the best greens in the States and as well as the fairways and, and bunkers and whatnot as well. The Northern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Fernley opened in 1990 under the administration of the Nevada Office of Veterans Services and covers about 40 acres that's owned and maintained by the state of Nevada. The cemetery is a way to honor all those who served in our armed forces, providing a resting place for veterans from northern Nevada and eastern parts of California. The eligibility criteria for burial at the Northern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery is the same that's used by the National Cemetery System and is based on military service. Northern Nevada Veterans Coalition has an honor guard that can offer military-style funeral services to any and all veterans, regardless of rank or time of service. Since its opening, over 5,000 veterans from all U.S. military branches, as well as family members of veterans, have been placed to rest at this site.
Operating out of Tiger Field, a small but active airport in Fernley, Nevada, the High Desert Radio Control Club is a group of aviation and radio-controlled aircraft enthusiasts who gather to fly model planes and share their love and knowledge of all aspects of aviation. Uh, the High Desert Radio Control Club, uh, we meet every Sunday, uh, weather permitting, at the Tiger Field Airport in Fernley. Uh, we're all about coming out, having a good time, uh, aviation-based fun, model aircraft, typical Lahavi type environment. Um, we also get involved with the local schools and the STEM programs and help educate the kids on robotics type issues and uh, model aviation and getting them started on, on that sort of a path. We fly every Sunday. We come out here about 7, 8 o'clock and there'll be a bunch of us flying and we just try to bring people in to fly, kids to learn to fly and have fun. We fly uh, a lot of different airplanes here, mostly electric based aircraft. Um, uh, today we're flying a lot of uh, scale aircraft such as the P-51 and uh, the Pawnee and uh, some other just trainer type aircraft uh, that can be a lot of fun to fly. The Delta flying wing that I was flying today, that's a scratch built airplane made from uh, home insulation foam you can get from the local hardware store and, and putting some motors and servos on there. Uh, makes for a real fun airplane to fly. In addition to weekly hosting of the High Desert Radio Control Club, Tiger Field Airport is a location for a few other events, including one sponsored by the Ageless Aviation Dreams Foundation. Their mission is to honor and give back to those who have given. And we do that by giving flights in a 1940s World War II biplane to seniors and veterans in long-term care free of charge. We call those dream flights. Today, we're in Fernley, Nevada, giving dream flights to nine seniors and veterans that are associated with Fernley Estates. And we're honoring their service, their commitment to our country with flights free of charge and it's a very amazing day. So, as you can see, Fernley is a growing community that has so much to offer and is a small oasis in northwestern Nevada's high desert landscape. A great place to live, work, and play. <laughs> <laughs>